Hi, Barry Thompson from Powerboat Magazine. Today we're down in Hamilton at High Tech Plastics. They're one of the largest manufacturers in New Zealand of rotational moulded and plastic welded products in the marine industry, also very extensively into the industrial market. So I spoke to Jared Mills about what the company does and where it came from. Back in the 19, uh, 1990s, uh, a gentleman called Jim Perry started the company. Um, Bill Mackerel, the owner of Ramco, approached Jim and said, look, we need seats. Basically, it's, it's mushrooming from there, from one mould. Um, that one mould's done 25,000 odd, odd seats since then. We've been out trying to diversify and try to give that custom designed feature to our, to our seating range. Now this is where it all started. This is the 1500 that Ramco ordered years and years ago and they've built 25,000 plus of these seats all out of the same mould. Considering they take an hour to build, that's a lot of labour. I guarantee that if you've got a trailer boat, you've got one of these in or you at least you've sat one of these in your boating time. Okay, now you move up to bolster seats. There's various forms of the high-tech bolster seats here. All got this bolster and these are all helm seats. So you've got different variations. You've got the one with the arms, you've got one here, which is the bucket bin seat, and this is a different style, just with a bit of a wrap around. And now we move up to the luxury range, ideally suited for the larger cruisers. These, these can be as much as eight and a half thousand dollars, and you can have all the controls on the arms, and they're fully adjustable. Color match to the flybridge of your next big cruiser. Now we've seen the luxury seats, but there's more. These are suspension seats, and they're manual, 12 volt or 24 volt, fully adjustable for lumbar support. You can style them just how you feel comfortable in when you're driving along, bouncing up and down. Now they're fully customizable, so you get your name and so forth on it, colors you like, different styles. But how about this? You've even got a seatbelt if it gets a bit rough. Click yourself in and away you go. This is a shock mitigation jockey seat. These are amazing. They're designed for high speed boats, particularly Boats though, like Coast Guard, they, they have to go out in the rough water, they've got no option, they've got to do a rescue, they need some comfort in there, not get their backs pounded. One of the unique things that High Tech Plastics is known for is their soft rider pedestals. These have been around for a few years and they're in just about every trailer boat you go on board. There's different forms of them. There's the short column one here, fixed, which goes on a, on a base. Then there's the pedestal one here, fixed pedestal. Now this can be any length you like. And then there's the fully adjustable one here, which you're seeing on larger trailer boats. Now we've talked about seats, we've talked about seat bases, but another big product of high-tech plastics, uh, live bait tanks. They go from 15 to 300 litres. They can be custom made to fit. You can put them inside, you can put them on the transom. Another one is tuna tubes. Now these are designed to bolt onto the transom of the boat if you haven't already got tuna tubes built in. But also bait boards. We've all got bait boards. You've all probably got one of these. And these come in all different shapes and sizes. Just the traditional bait board, you know, you usually get them. What I always do is cut a slot in the back, put the knife in. But hey, bait board's a bait board. Okay, so we've looked at um, the products that the company makes and a little bit of history. So how is it all made? At the moment, we've got one seat and a drainage product that you'll see them demolding it now. So at the moment we've got that 1500 seat, the one you spoke about earlier, the one yep. that was been going for the last 20 odd years and yep. 20 plus thousand of them being made. So now he just pulls it out of the mould yep. and it, it's warm at the time, hence the gloves, and he takes it over to the finishing bay. After he's edged it, we do we tend to sand, the, sand that line as well with a grinder or a power file, just right. to take that sharp edge off. Obviously, it's a small product, but it goes in a very expensive boat. And so basically, this is obviously a roto moulding machine. So this is one of the types that, probably one of the most common types, it's called a rock and roll. So basically, as you can see, it's rocking and rolling on the inside. Both these machines are cooling. Um, on this machine here, we've got our cruiser seat, which is probably our second most popular seat. The material we use is a powder, it's a polyethylene. It's a New Zealand made product. They, they import a resin, because they have to. And then from there, they, they produce the powder, which is in various stages, we, we buy it as, a, as an, either a natural or black or a mixed colours. So over here we've got our, our basically our swivel assembly area, so this is these are all manual sliders. So they're basically nice and slide, nice and easy. Yep. So this is a, pre the slider, so there's your plunger pin. Behind here we have all our, what we call our tube assemblies, this so is basically the stalks. one stage of the soft rider assembly part. People do ask us, well how much is it going to bounce? 
a bit hard to say, different weights and different impact and all that kind of stuff. We generally say around about 50 millimetres of, uh, of, of suspension. Okay. Plastic welding is, is what we use for a lot of other, other products that might need calm, custom sized water tanks or anything like that. A lot of water tanks, they sort of are a different size, so instead of paying the expense to get in a mould made for a one-off product, we weld it together out of a plastic sheet. And it basically uses a heat gun and it just welds two sheets together using heat. We do a lot of um, customised work, whether it be um, we do customised live bait tanks, water tanks, grey water tanks. So that's our tour of high-tech plastics. High-tech plastics build some absolutely outstanding products. They've been doing it for a long time. Their seat bases, their soft rider pedestals, their plastic rotational moulded seats and their high-tech seats for the larger boats, all first class, real quality products. Their bait tanks, their live bait tubes, bait boards, they've got it all covered. If you've got a trailer boat, particularly, you've probably got some high-tech plastics on your boat.